How do igneous rocks form? Back when our Earth was just a molten ball of magma, the first rocks that ever formed were igneous rocks. Just like ice is frozen water, an igneous rock is frozen lava or magma. There are two major types of igneous rocks. These rocks cooled from lava, which formed quickly on or near Earth's surface. They're mostly black and gray with few crystals. This chunky bowl of chili looking rock cooled while the lava was still moving. Now this rock cooled from magma, which stayed nestled deep below the Earth, cooling nice and slow, making lots of pretty crystals. There are tons of different igneous rocks. Their appearance depends on how fast the lava cooled, where the lava cooled, and the kind of chemicals swimming around in the lava when it cooled. Now, picture an explosive volcanic eruption! Volcanic ash and lava raining down at rocket speeds, settling out here. It's settled out in layers, but its components are straight from the volcano's mouth. So, is it an igneous rock or a sedimentary rock? What do you think? Who's that rock? It's a beach oh, cobble! God, beach cobble! How did that circle get there? Okay, let's talk about this rock first. Before they were on this beach, these pebbles were parts of bigger rocks, a part of that mountain behind me. And before that, they were underground, getting heated up and squeezed in every direction, cracking apart. These openings allowed for hot fluids to get in and cool in the form of quartz crystals. So those rocks below the earth got pushed up to form the mountain range you see today, and they started to break down and carried in the river to this beach side, and while tumbling down, angular chunks of rocks rounded out and got further rounded out by ocean waves. So those linearish veins you see ended up looking round just like the rock. And as you see here, as the rock keeps weathering away, the circle itself will eventually disappear, leaving a flat layer of quartz. How do metamorphic rocks form? Metamorphic rocks are like evolved Pokemon. After getting heated or squeezed or interacting with hot fluids and other rocks, they change, they evolve. Let's look at some examples. Here at a boundary between two tectonic plates, a mud can get compressed into a schist. Here, next to a magma chamber, this limestone could get heated up and evolve into a marble. And here, deep below the ocean floor, hot water that's injected into this peridotite can chemically transform it into serpentinite. So how do we know exactly just how hot, just how much pressure this rock experienced? I got one answer for you. Find out in the next How Did video. See you then. Some metamorphic rocks in Taiwan used to be 40 kilometers below the surface, cooked at temperatures up to 550 degrees Celsius. So how do we know exactly just how hot, just how much pressure this rock experienced? I got one answer for you. Minerals, baby. The minerals hold all the answers. Think with me for a second about a pie, any kind of pie. And that pie crust, you know that it was cooked to around 400 degrees. And if you look closely at the crust, maybe how flaky it is, you might be able to tell if the crust has butter or lard. Each mineral in a rock has its own recipe. They have its set ingredients, its chemical composition, and also form under a set temperature and pressure. Once you identify those specific minerals in the rock, you can start to figure out what kind of environment it formed in. But be careful, not all minerals can be seen by the naked eye. Who's that rock? It's serpentinite! Sa Sa serpentinite! These two rocks are not the same. Not only are they made out of completely different things, but the way that they evolved are totally different. Marble and serpentinite's pre-evolutions are different types of rocks. Marble's pre-evolution is limestone. limestone. This ground type formed in the bottom of the ocean. Serpentinite's pre-evolution is peridotite. Per this peridotite. fire type formed from lava. But wait, there's more. While Taiwan just began to form, peridotite was nestled in between its colliding tectonic plates. And just like squeezing that last bit of toothpaste out, it squeezed up from 55 kilometers deep up to the surface. In this insane squeezing event, Peridotite evolved into serpentinite. Sa, sa. I mean, just look at the mineral serpentine. Doesn't it look like it was stretched out? On a separate note, check out that back wall in this United Nations meeting. Could it be Taiwan serpentinite? What if Taiwan has always been present at the United Nations? Hmm? <laughs>